Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, today in this short video, we will learn the difference between sterilization, disinfection, and antisepsis. That what is the basic difference between these three terms commonly used in the hospital during infection control practices. So first of all, sterilization. Everyone know that sterilization is the complete killing of microorganism. It means that we will call any object or any surface sterilize when we make all the all form of the microorganisms killed. Therefore, it is known as sterilization. So it will kill all bacteria, viruses, fungi and other pathogen including the bacterial spore which is the most resistant structure among, bacteria, uh, among the all pathogen. So sterilization is the complete killing of microorganisms. So any surface, any object which is completely free from any form of the microorganisms will be considered sterilized. While disinfection and antisepsis is the incomplete killing. What do we mean by incomplete killing? Incomplete killing is the killing of microorganisms when you kill many of the microorganisms but not all. And by killing many of the microorganisms, you make the surfaces and object safe in order to avoid the attack of a large number of microorganisms because when the number of microorganisms goes down, so the possible attack of the, the chances or the risk of the possible attack of the microorganisms also goes down. So in disinfection and antisepsis, we do incomplete killing, which means that we kill many of the microorganisms but not all. So then what is the difference between disinfection and antisepsis? When we do or we kill many of the microorganisms on the surface, on, on, on inanimate surface or on non-living surface, then that procedure is known as disinfection. For example, you are killing many microorganisms on the surface of this table by doing mop of 70% alcohol, then it is disinfection because you are killing many of the microorganisms on non-living surface. And if you are doing the same procedure on the living tissue or in any animate tissue, then it will be considered as antisepsis. For example, before any pinctures, you are using rubbing, rubbing alcohol on the area of the vein that is antisepsis because you are doing or you are killing many microorganisms on the surface of living tissue. So this is the difference between disinfection and antisepsis. So any chemical, any agent which is used for antisepsis is known as antiseptic and any chemical or any agent which is used for disinfection is known as disinfectant and any chemical or any object which is used for sterilization is known as sterilant. So this is the difference between sterilization, disinfection and antisepsis. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel Dr. Aman's video and also hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Fee Amanillah.